So it is the first week in June and it is a beautiful morning. It's about 9.30 a.m. and we resurfaced our deck. It was just in terrible, terrible condition. So we got something called Deck Correct at Ace Hardware and got busy out here. And so now my deck feels nice, fresh, and clean. I'm so thrilled about it. I told you guys in my last tour video that we bought the house. And so we're just slowly making some improvements. And another improvement that we made was over here. I installed a spigot. <laughs> I have been living here almost 10 years. And I've had this big garden out here. And I've had to water it by hand. I would take a bucket inside my house, fill them up bring them out here and that's how I've been watering this garden forever. This is going to be so wonderful to actually have water out here. I cannot tell you guys how happy I am that I now have a hose with a little spigot. Okay, so let me show you what's growing here in the herb container garden. Over here I put some nasturtium seeds right into my little hanging pot and they are up and growing pretty good. Uh, down here I have some basil growing. I put seeds just directly into the soil. This is my Thai basil. It's uh, called Siam Queen. And then over here I just have some Italian large leaf basils. Um, it looks like a lot of my seeds germinated in this pot so I'll thin them out here and I'll put a few of those over here where I only have one seed that's come up. So um, this is called Tulsi basil and I started that indoors and it's been struggling so I'm hoping now that the temperatures are warming up I'll have some nice tossy basil this year rosemary I've been taking some cuttings and rooting those um, this is just a little kaffir lime tree growing from seed it's doing real well I've got a lot of new growth on it and then down here is some shiso which is uh, reseeded and also it's like a purple perilla um, it's just reseeded everywhere so I thought I would leave it in there I really like the kind of contrast of the colors so and then lemongrass which I'll move into a larger container here soon um, underneath my little bench where there's a little bit of shade I have my cuttings of sage I'm also taking cuttings right now of oregano and tarragon all right and then this is my surprise this is my green stock and I decided to grow all sugar snap peas in here. So as you can see, it is loaded down with peas. Just loving the peas right now. And I'll try to show you how I did that in another video. Down here I have some uh, tomatoes and I'm keeping those in the shade. I have planted most of my tomatoes and I went back through my seed packets and I realized there was one tomato I wanted to grow this year <laughs> and I did not um, start the seeds indoors early so I'm just going to have those as uh, kind of a late tomato this year. Okay over here on this side I have most of my cooler herbs that like the cooler temperatures because this is where my shade hits in the afternoon when it's so hot so the shade of the house helps these thrive a little bit better than being in the hot afternoon sun. So the mint looks wonderful. And then so does the tarragon, which I'm going to cut some to dry here very soon. Some scallions, parsley, flat leaf parsley, some more tarragon, which I'm also going to cut some of that for drying. And more parsley, uh, tarragon, and then my chives right back here deal that I just put the seeds right out here in the pot and um, there's some scallions mixed in there as well more scallions along with uh, looks like another reseeded uh, perilla plant some more chives and then lots of little chamomile back here a lot of chamomile um, more scallions and then the thyme is just about to start to bloom so right now I want to clip that and dry it as well I'm going to move this lavender down into the ground, into the native, native soil. This pot's a little bit too small for it, and this is the second year, so I want to give it some room to grow. And then there's more scallions back there, which I'm also going to move those into the ground. So I hopefully can have just a little bed of green onions. That would be great. They can just reseed every year, but I went over that with you in my How to Grow Bunching Onions video. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut back the thyme and some of this tarragon for drying. And then I'll show you guys how I'm drying my oregano right now. So you can see how I dry my herbs every year. I do it in the um, 
you know, in the late spring. And I'm also going to go ahead and harvest all of these peas. So this is my dehydrator and I'm in my garage. I like to run my dehydrator down here because it makes a constant humming noise and I don't really like to hear that all the time while I'm drying herbs in the spring. So up here I have some um, of the drying trays um, and I'll show you here. I've been working on oregano right now. Okay, and I take out what trays I don't need um, so that I'll get more circulation around these stems. So what I'm going to do is just take my oregano, I'll pop it in this mason jar. I think I showed y'all how I uh, store my herbs in my How to Grow Oregano video. Um, also, I showed you in the Thyme 101 and Mint 101. And so, um, anyway, I will uh, use my little food saver attachment on my mason jar and it'll take all the oxygen out of here and keep it airtight so they'll stay good all through the winter and so again this is my Excalibur dehydrator and I really love using this for my herbs I think you can get these on Amazon it has an herb uh, setting on there so it doesn't get too hot uh, about 95 degrees Fahrenheit, I think. So it drives, dries my herbs perfectly, which a lot of dehydrators you can't control that uh, so precisely. So I'll also go ahead, I'm going to dry my thyme after I finish up with this oregano. I'll dry the tarragon and then I have some sage in the garden. So there you go. I've got my work cut out for me and if you have any questions, please leave them down below the video. I'll certainly try to help you. Thanks so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day.